me present a little bit for those who don't know me yet. I am Aaron Rosel, co-founder and CTO of BQBI. And I will show you the process how to buy the BQB tokens uh, during our ICO using MetaMask. So for those who have already seen the session last week, I have already presented it. And I will try to show it a little bit different and also to detail a little bit more of the process. So the first step to buy the token is uh, that you need to have MetaMask installed uh, on your browser. So here, like for instance, I'm using Brave browser and it's already installed here. You can see the little fox. And let's assume like it's not there yet on your browser. So first you need to install it. So here I have another browser, Google Chrome, where it's not installed yet. MetaMask. So it's metamask.io. And here you can download the extension. So MetaMask is an extension for your browser. This is not a desktop application. Uh, this is an extension for your browser, or it also exists as a mobile version. As you can see, it's available for Chrome, iOS, or Android. Uh, Chrome, so it means it also work in Brave browser because Brave is uh, using the same engine than Chrome, so it's completely compatible. So here you just have to install uh, MetaMask, add to Chrome. Okay, you just have to validate, add to Chrome. And basically, okay, once it's installed, it will appear here in your extension as a small fox. Then you can click uh, start. So in my case, it's coming in French, but here if there is two options. Either you already have an existing wallet and you can import it by using the mnemonic. Mnemonic is a 12 words uh, uh, recovery phrase, which is equivalent to your private keys. So if you have these 12 words, uh, if you have already created your wallet somewhere else, for instance, or the Coinbase wallet, then you can import your existing wallet here, or you can create a new uh, fresh wallet, which would create a new wallet on the Ethereum blockchain. So let's assume we choose the second option, for instance. Okay, here there, MetaMask is just giving you some warnings. Uh, it's telling like MetaMask will allow always allow you to opt out via settings, send anonymized click and page view events, but it will never collect keys, addresses, transaction balances, or any personal information. It will never collect your IP address. It will never sell data for profit ever. So MetaMask is the most trusted uh, valet manager uh, in the decentralized ecosystem. So this is very trusted. They, uh, they don't uh, take anything personal from your data. It will just allow you to interact with your valet in an easy way with your browser. Just click, I agree. Okay, you check that you agree to the term and condition, create. And here, as you can see, it will uh, give you your private key. So here I can show it publicly because I will not use this valet. This is just for the demo. But if you click here, it will reveal your private key, which is composed of 12 words. And you should, this is the most important thing, you should safeguard this private key somewhere so no one should see it uh, apart from you as much as possible and at the same time you should not lose it so one very safe way of uh, storing it is just to write it on a piece of paper this is a very low-tech solution but low-tech is very uh, secure in fact because no one can hack a piece of paper so just have to store this one somewhere uh, safely so here Let's assume like we have put it on some piece of paper or something. When you click next, then you have to confirm your mnemotechnic, your, your phrase. So here I have just saved it. I will put it on a text file, which is not really recommended, but this is just for the demo. And here you have to type again. So you see like the first word, dev ghost indoor. You have to type dev okay. uh, ghost indoor. Next is attract scheme faint, attract scheme faint, recycle design Canva, recycle design Canva, and siege drama method, siege drama method. Okay, this is just to confirm to make sure you have memorized or you have noted correctly your private key. Then congratulations, okay, your wallet is uh, created. 
Okay. This is just to tell you like you can use certain uh, decentralized exchange to swap token like Uniswap or one inch or something. And we will not be doing that, so you can just close it. And here it is, your new wallet has been created. And here you can see the address. Uh, for instance, here you can see it start by 0xd3. So this is your public address. So this public address, you can share it publicly. There is no issue with this because this will not allow anyone to access your wallet. Uh, and here, as you can see, we can select the network. By default, it will be Ethereum network. And then you have uh, other kind of network. But as we said, for the token sale, you need to remain on Ethereum network only. Then once you have created your wallet, the next step will be to transfer the funds from your Binance account. So you will need to transfer some USDT if you want to invest in USDT and some ETH uh, for uh, paying the gas fees. So for instance, so let's go like to uh, some Binance account, for instance. And here you will have to, 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 to transfer the funds uh, in USDT. You have to click withdraw in your Binance account. So here I am in Fiat and Spot uh, portfolio. Uh, just click withdraw for USDT. Here you, are, you will have to put the public address of your uh, MetaMask uh, wallet that you just created. You can just click here, it will copy uh, the address. And then you can just paste it here on Binance. And here you have to select what transfer network you are using. In our case, you have to deal only with Ethereum. So this is Ethereum ETH ERC20. And there will be some fees, which is 20 USDT on Binance. So as someone suggested, some other platform like FTX will have no fees, but on Binance, you have to pay 20 USDT of fees. Here you will have to transfer your amounts. So let's, let's suppose you want to invest 10,000 USDT. You will just write it here. So in this case, if you want to make it 10,000, you have to put 20 more because of the fees, then submit and it will send it to uh, your wallet. Then once you have sent it, it will uh, you will have to wait for maybe five to 10 minutes for the transaction to be completed on the blockchain. And then it will be visible in your wallet. So I'll show you with my existing uh, MetaMask wallet here. Once you have transferred the funds, it will be visible here in your wallet. For instance, here, you can see I have 27 uh, USDT. And uh, here you can see your ETH. So you should do the same by transferring a little bit of ETH or so. So you use the same procedure, but with ETH, just to cover at least the fees, $100 uh, dollars worth of ETH to cover the fees. Or if you want to invest directly in ETH, then you should put the equivalent uh, amount in ETH. Then once all the funds are on your uh, wallet, you will be able to uh, make the purchase of the tokens. So once you are on the home page, you have to click dashboard, then you go to the dashboard investment page. And here you will have a button connect to a wallet. And this is where you can connect your MetaMask wallet. So here I am connecting with this wallet, for instance. Okay, and once it's connected, as you can see, we can see the number of tokens which have been already sold. Uh, and currently there is that much of token which has been sold for making our own tests which is equivalent to around 3,000 USD. Then the next step will be to make your KYC application. I think most of you have already made it, but in case if you have not made it yet, you will have to complete your KYC application. Uh, this is quite straightforward process. Uh, we are using SumSub, which is a very trusted KYC provider and very efficient. It will be verified in just a few minutes. Once it's verified, it will show verification complete and you will also receive a notification email. It means you are whitelisted and you are ready to participate in the token sale uh, as soon as it starts. And then you will be able to see contributions, so which will not be visible for now, but you will be able to see it as soon as the token sale starts. And in contribution, this is where you will be able to uh, purchase the Bcube token either in Ethereum or in USDT. So you have to select, for instance, USDT. You can put the amount you want to invest, for 5,000 USDT. It will show the estimated number of VCube tokens that you will get. And uh, as we explained, 
the exact number of tokens we will get might be a little bit more or a little bit less, which depends on Chainlink Oracle, which will decide about the price in the smart contract. Then you have to click purchase tokens. And it will ask you, you are about to purchase around uh, 125,000 V cube for a payment amount of 5,000 USDT. Just click confirm. Then it will go to MetaMask. Please approve the amount of a transaction. And you just have, you will just have to approve it here first, which will have a cost of 13 uh, dollars in this case because of fees. This can fluctuate from days to days, as we explained. And after approving, you have, you will have to confirm the transaction, and that's it. You are done, and uh, the BQ token will be allocated uh, to you. And this is the same process in case of Ethereum. You can just select the quantity of Ethereum, or let's say like two ETH. You will get that much of BQ tokens. This is also showing you the estimated amount in USDT. Uh, at the current price of ETH. Uh, and then you can just click purchase token. And in the same way, you just have to confirm and go through the process with MetaMask. And that's it. So this is uh, simple, quite straightforward. Uh, once you just know how to use MetaMask and you have transferred the funds on MetaMask. So that's it for the demo. If you have any question, you can ask me. Okay, so some people have written some uh, thing in the chat. Firefox will fit better to MetaMask because they are both foxes. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, that can be a good fit in that. Like. <laughs> okay, thank you, everyone. It was very good. You're welcome. So if anyone is having question, you can ask it. So once again, there is only one thing to be careful, which is to uh, keep your private key safe. Apart from this, nothing really serious can happen because all the process is secured properly through a smart contract. So either your transaction will happen the way it is supposed to happen or either it will not happen. And just keep your private key safe, uh, which is the only thing what we really ask you to do. All is clear. Great. Perfect. So if there is anything you can Anyway, always reach out to me directly. I will be available even on the day of the uh, token sale. Uh, you can contact me on Telegram directly in private message if you have any question. And I will be doing the customer care also like for people like if they need any help in the process of buying, you can just contact me and I will uh, help you to go through the process. I can send ETH from any wallet, not just from Binance wallet, which I use for trading with your bot, right? Yes, exactly. You can send ETH from any wallet. Uh, so I just made the demo with Binance because I know most uh, of our clients are using Binance and even most people in general use Binance. This is the most common exchange platform. But of course, you can uh, make the transfer from any other exchange. Like someone was suggesting from FTX, where there is no fees. This is also one possibility. Or you can make it from KuCoin or for Coinbase. Or you can make it for any centralized exchange or even uh, using another decentralized wallet also. Everything is possible. But Binance is the most common and most straightforward uh, way for most people. That's why we are making the demo with it. But if you are comfortable with uh, other exchange, of course, you can use it also. Can send from any wallet, yes. Okay. One question, how long is the window for buying? Uh, not sure exactly what you mean by window for buying. Uh, there is no really such window. I think maybe you are asking something similar like what is on Uniswap, like where it will show you some price and uh, then you have some timeouts during which like the price will be uh, this price. So in our case, it's uh, not exactly like this. The price will be decided by Chainlink uh, when you make the transaction, but there is no such window, uh, exact window. But so it might fluctuate a little bit. Uh, the exact amount of BQ might be a little less or a little more uh, for this reason, but there is no specific window. Only thing is that, uh, of course, there is a limited number of tokens available at each price. Like in round one, there is 100,000 USDT worth of Bcup tokens, which is available. So once this 100,000 
the loss of tokens has been sold, then it means you will have to buy at the next price in round two, and then it will go to round three, etc., until one round four. So the exact price at which you will be able to buy the tokens will depend on how much demand is there and how fast the, the available quantity of tokens is being sold. And the duration of, the process, of this purchase will be uh, as long as uh, all the tokens uh, has been sold. Uh, and once all the tokens has been sold, then this price sell will be finished and we will go for the public sale, which will have higher price for the tokens. But now we still can't whitelist ourselves. Uh, I don't know what you mean. So, but right now you can already whitelist uh, yourself. You just have to uh, submit your, your KYC using the dashboard. And once your KYC is validated, so you will receive a confirmation email to confirm you that your KYC is validated, then it means you are whitelisted. But as we explained, for uh, the 16th of March, uh, the, the buying of a token will be possible for those who have been authorized, who have been uh, authorized for this sale, uh, who were like the early adopters. So I don't know exactly what you mean by can't waste whitelist ourselves, but if I didn't answer right the question, you can tell a little bit more. In my dashboard is missing. So if you are not able to see the KYC application in your dashboard, uh, most likely it means you are not logged in with uh, MetaMask. Because once you are logged in with MetaMask, you will be able to see the, the KYC application. 